So, I just start to print and I will explain everything about the probe and probing positions and I did cheat a little bit with this little bulb here I'm sorry about the noises my printers are working and I'm using this as a backup printer and I guess it's worked okay since the last video I think a few months ago uh, I'm a, in a big renovation of my home so that's the one of the bedrooms so <clears throat> let's go through the sequence I will pause the video or speed it up in the bed leveling part so you can see the the point and the storing of the probe that's X and Y home. Now it's time for our Z. Deploying the probe. Probing. And now it's gonna start the ABL sequence. It's making sure that the probe is on. And now it's the ABL. Oh, the 49 sequence. So, now, the 39 point. You will see my cheating methods involving this bolt over there. And I will go like this. So you can sit better. Yes, the bed is dirty and dusty. It will it's helping with my alignment actually. I will show you just in a sec because I don't want to miss it to miss the storing of the probe. Okay, get in focus, 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 so that's the last one, and now it's gonna go and store it. It's making the full sequence, and click, storing the probe. Now, I did say... All this does help out with the alignment and if you watch carefully you can see the dots of the probe and where it's going to probe it. Now I'm using this printer to run all the same files as all the other of my printers uh, but it's a bit big and I will make sure yep I know I will change the bed but at this point it will work for now so I'm using I am still using this printer and it's working quite well and it's producing all this little tiny parts I need to finish calibrating everything because it's a bit stringy that's one of the parts please focus so that's one of the part if you can see it's a bit stringy at some blobs and stuff uh, I also want to change the nozzle and the heat brake because this is all cone stuff I mean I bought everything from Aliexpress and it's not original uh, hot end and heat brake and uh, heat block and so on and so forth uh, I did buy a B-metal uh, 
heat break and a new CHT type no nozzle. So you can see the first layer. And it's pretty okay. For those types of materials, I'm using PoA and it's cheap. Uh, so, how did I do that? So, here it is. Uh, I did use, that's the main code for main Marlin code and I did use the deployment part from the rack and pinion probe style uh, you can, you did see the moving from left to right and right to left so it's because it's uh, moved the head from uh, X maximum to X minimum and the point and retracting and so on and so forth so I did so some experiments. I did try the this type of probe and this type of probe and uh, the island key probe, the touch sensor me probe, and every other style and stuff. I also did some experiments with uh, positionings, and you can see the minus six over here the Mac probe but it, they didn't work as needed I mean uh, they won't retract properly for some reason and I'm not sure about why is that um, but this type works so that's the point part you can see and now as I said I did cheat a little bit. Uh, printers, manage printers. So, in the machine settings, I did this. I drill up a bolt and I said before bed leveling. just to go and go on this position and store the probe and after that continue printing it's simple as that uh, if you're trying to do some special things or if you go to uh, level your uh, to home your Z the probe will automatically open and it will not store because of this uh, also it's a safety measure because it's gonna try to probe and home or it's won't gonna it's not gonna crash the head into the bed so that's it it's simple as that if you, I will uh, share this uh, configuration and I will share my uh, configuration.h files for my Hevel. My machine is uh, 300 by 280 by 300, but basically it's a bit bigger. So basically it's a bit bigger. It's uh, free, uh, 350 by 315 by 370 as on the z-axis uh, I'm using just that for simplification and also I'm using the Ender 5 profile in Cura so it's just an Ender 3 with Ender 3 profile with uh, a bit calibration and um, direct drive that's all thanks for watching